Hey guys, so today we're talking about Form Futura filament. So Form Futura sent me some filament to try out and they sent me some wood fill, uh, a variety of different colors. And they also sent me some of this HD glass filament. Now the HD actually stands for heavy duty. I thought it was high definition, uh, but no, heavy duty because it's really, really strong. Now this is a, a PETG compound filament and it's uh, PETG is the kind of thing you get in plastic bottles and it lets 90% of the light through that hits it. So uh, with, I think, something like 1% haze. So it's really, really nice. So if you were to print uh, a single perimeter, you'd have a really, really transparent object. And then obviously the more layers that you put in, the more haze builds up and the more the, uh, the trans transparent nature of it degrades. But you can get quite far with this and see a lot of detail through it. So I've printed and designed a little USB light bulb. So this is modeled on a real world light bulb, vaguely. It's not perfect. I'll share it on Thingiverse so you can have a look if you like. But it's a uh, hollow object. This one has a, is that 0.5 millimeters, I think, uh, sort of wall thickness. You can go a bit lower than that, but I found a few problems doing that with the accuracy of my printer and the, four, uh, the 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Um, but this one has got great transparency. Uh, so oh, it's not drawing a lot of current, so this keeps going off, but it's really, really cool. So in a room that isn't as brightly lit as this one, I've got three lights on me at the moment. You can see this a lot better. I'll show you in a separate clip. So the Form Futura filament prints really, really well. I was very impressed. It's got great layer adhesion, um, perhaps a little bit too much at higher temperatures. It does claim it can go, it's something like 215 to 250. I'll put it in uh, the description so you can see or up on the screen. You can, you can print at a variety of different temperatures depending on what kind of finish you want and a high temperature, quickly printed, you'll get more of a transparent result. But uh, I found it was a little bit too sticky <laughs> at higher temperatures. So it sort of got caught up on the nozzle and it was dragging things around and it sort of ruined the prints. But if you're careful and if you play around with your print settings, you can get great results. Now I designed this light bulb before with a different filament. Um, I planned to do this uh, and then Form Futura contacted me and I, I saw their filaments and I thought, yes, that, that transparent filament's gonna look really good. So I've got a different one and I can show you the real difference between this and a normal transparent filament. So this is a filament from Exelvan and it's a translucent filament. So it's not the same as a transparent filament. Um, this one will pass light through, but it's not gonna do really, really well. It looks a bit more like natural PLA. And I designed a bulb to go with that, except you can see a huge difference in these. It looks reasonably bright, but the light's very diffused. And that might be a, a sort of effect you're going for, but I quite like seeing the filament nature of these LEDs. So as a little experiment, I printed out a little, one of these little spiral vases and I gave it a one perimeter around the whole of the outside just to see how transparent it would become. Now, as you can see, it's very transparent. I've got a single uh, sort of uh, part of a robot, I think, a uh, little bit of um, PLA in here. And if I just drop in, you can see it all the way through. Now, obviously the details are a little bit distorted because you're printing in layers, so it's gonna distort the light as it goes through, but it will show you the color and the light from the inside. So it's pretty awesome. Now this bulb was printed at 220 degrees C and it has two perimeters uh, printed without supports. And I'll pop it on Thingiverse so that you guys can download it and build it yourself if you like. This is the circuit diagram. It's really simple. It's just USB cable to a little uh, perf board and then a couple of resistors and a couple of LEDs. And that I've put them onto enameled wire so that it sort of looks a bit more filament like. It doesn't draw a lot of current, so it's just a little bit of a fun device, really, like a desktop toy, I guess. I've done an illuminated project before, which was a little TARDIS that sort of uh, faded in and out using an AT Tiny 85. And I've got another one coming up. Now, I've used a bit more of the uh, Form Futura filament, and it's the wood fill, so we'll be coming to that in another video, but I've also done a little bit of an illuminated project with that. And I'm a little bit obsessed with LEDs at the moment. Anyway, well, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I do recommend Form Futura Filament. They did send it to me, but I was gonna buy it anyway, so I sort of don't mind. Uh, and I don't think it's affected my opinion of the filament at all. It's certainly a, a lot better than the, uh, the translucent filament that I've played with before, hoping it would provide 
um, similar results, but it didn't. So the HD glass has done that for me. And now they also have something called Crystal Flex, which uh, apparently lets a bit more light in. So I might try and have a look at that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. See ya.